Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore, and today we're going to take a look at finder tags in OS X Mavericks. This is something that we've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about, so we figure the best way to kind of show you how we're using these or how Apple meant for them to be used is to actually maybe show you how one of us uses this in our workflow. Um, so for me, I'm a pretty organized person. Uh, tags has made my life a little bit easier. For those of you that have been on OS X, for quite a while, you might remember that Apple did give us labels before, uh, but tags is pretty much a full-blown extension of that with a couple more options. So the first thing we'll take a look at is, um, this is my desktop typically after a day of writing for iMore. I've got screenshots, I've got photos, I've got templates, I've got all kinds of things here that I want to clean up. So this is a perfect way for me to show you how I use tags. So up here towards the top, and I'll drag my mouse so you know where I'm at, um, these are some templates that I downloaded today from Renee that I'm going to tag. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on here and you can see down here I have some tags. Uh, these are the ones that I've already set up. So I have one for random sort, photography, iMore, DIY, and wallpapers. These are the things when I sat down and thought about my workflow, um, these are the things that I typically do a lot of on a daily basis and things that I need access to frequently. So being able to just go and sort a tag for just iMore and we'll look at how to do that in just a second. But what I'm going to do is since this template is something I'll probably use a lot going forward, I'm going to tag it as iMore. Uh, same thing with this one underneath it. And alternatively, you can tag um, multiple things at once. So we'll do that with these screenshots right here. I've got several of them. I don't typically see, keep screenshots, but I do if it, I think it's something that I'm going to use again. So my problem in the past has been that I will typically throw these in a random folder, not forget where they are. I'll have screenshots in one folder or more in another folder. With tags, it kind of solves that problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here, um, and I do not have a tag for screenshots yet. So I'm going to create one. So if you right click and just click on tags like I just did, you can create one. So, and then I'm gonna hit enter, and that's gonna create that tag. Hit enter again, and it's gonna tag them. Um, the one thing I don't like about tags, and this is a perfect way to point it out, when you add a new tag, once you've used colors, for some reason it doesn't add one, you don't see the tag. Um, the way to kind of solve this is if you open a finder window, uh, I already have finder open here at the top, but I'm gonna go up here and go to preferences, and under tags here, show these tags in the sidebar. So you'll see these tags in the sidebar and then below that you have a favorite tag section. So what I can do is I can drag screenshots into this. So then it's going to show up as well. Um, I don't really like that screenshots doesn't have a color so I'm going to go into this uh, finder window and as you can see it's sorting all of my screenshots. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to give it a color. So where's a color I haven't used yet? Gray? Okay. So there. I've added a gray little bubble there. So the problem I don't really like with tags, this is an issue that I see happening, is if I don't have a color I can't see that it's tagged. Apple's not giving me the option to create more colors or custom colors, not that I can see anyway. Um, so this is one of the issues but it's something I can work through. So next what we're going to do is since I've tagged these, I am going to move these into my crap folder. So the reason I don't mind doing that anymore, I can simply open a finder window. Doesn't matter where they're at on my computer, I can still go to screenshots, it's still going to pull all of them up. So same thing, uh, I like to change my wallpapers on my Mac, so I've started saving these under a specific tag, because what happens again, I throw them in a random folder and I end up saving them from the internet again because I can't find them. Um, photography, that's a huge part of what I do for iMore, so I have gotten folders set up here, um, and you can see in here, I even have subfolders that are tagged. So if I go back into this photography folder, um, maybe the random sort's a better example. So I have one here that is specifically to remind me to sort this crap. If I go into this iMore folder, my general one, it's just chock full of crap. So at some point, I'm going to need to go through here and sort this, but um, I did actually start doing that with DIY stuff. So you can see some of these have purple tags. So if I go to just the DIY tag, you can see that this is filtering in just DIY stuff. So it makes sorting a lot easier. Um, I wish Apple would give us a little bit more control over how and where we can edit these. I don't like that if I 
right click and need to create a new tag. Uh, at least I don't see it. I can't change the color here. So if I new tag, I can't add a color, finish editing it. I have to actually jump into a finder window to do that. Um, if you ever decide you want to delete a tag, you can do that. Same thing in the finder window here. Most of your edit options are going to be here. So you can rename, remove, delete tags. Um, you can change colors here. Uh, to rename a tag, you can also just basically, I think, click in here. Oh, I thought you could. I thought that's how I'd renamed them in the past. But alternately, you can right click and go to rename. But that's pretty much it. This is how I use finder tags to clear out my desktop. Um, a lot of this stuff, if I'm not sorting it, it just gets dragged to the trash. But at least, even if it's in a folder, I can pull it up quickly. So I know where my things are. I can open a finder window. I can go to photography. I can drill down into what I need, find the photos that I need, and go from there. Um, I hope this helped you guys. You guys have been asking about it a lot. If you use finder tags or you're just getting set up, uh, feel free to let us know in the comments how you're using them and how they're improving your workflow.